What's going on, everybody? My name is Polo. Hope you guys are doing well out there. Um, I was listening to a comedian's podcast. I think it was uh, the 5150 show uh, with Corey Holcomb, one of my favorite comedians. And he was going in about um, Don Rickles. Okay, and I don't know anything about Don Rickles, but uh, he said he was a monster comedian. All right, so. You know, uh, you guys know I love my comedy, so today we're doing a reaction to check out Don Rickles Doesn't Hold Back on Carson Tonight Show. Let's go. Don Rickles is here tonight. He opens at the Resorts in Atlantic City tomorrow night, Friday, January 13th. Would you please welcome Mr. Warmth, Don Rickles. <laughs> It was so formal back in the day. Say, I, I, why, I slid, I slid. Oh, funniest monologue I've ever heard. You like heard that, you right? many, many years. Yeah. Tonight was the funniest, so enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> you were really, hey, I was in, in the green room. Well, we got a hundred. The two audience. of us and, 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 and one, one waiter and some black gentleman was standing there going, I'm just here to rob you. And, uh, it was actually a black guy. Yeah, in black guy there just planning to rob. I doubt that. Yeah, you doubt that, sure. But what do you know? So what's new besides the competition? <laughs> uh, this guy is sharp. I, I'll tell you what. I like competition. I know you. Yeah. When you're on 26 yeah. years, I gives mean, you, where's the challenge? Gives you a charge. Yeah. Well, what gives do you need you... a charge? 26 years. Walk away. It's over. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, 26 years, I sat with Ed the other night. He said, how long is he going to keep going like this? He's worried about that little tap dancer on Star Search. <laughs> Gloria Kowalczyk. <laughs> three, four, uh, 341. Gloria opens up at the palace in Encino Friday. <laughs> with a 341. <laughs> that show is annoying, Ed. <laughs> Yo, yeah, we'll never see this level of talent again. Okay, I mean, just these days when you we don't even have any more action heroes. Okay, and the comedian comedy is a dying thing to me. It seems like, uh, and you just see like the older comedians, just how committed they were to it. I mean, this guy since the moment he walked on stage is just locked in with his timing, and even his full performance of standing up. You would you would think they rehearsed this. That's how good it is. I mean. Came up the hard way. You one day, that guy Al Mancini, is that his name? I thought he was an Italian football player. He came up, and you and your wife, you sit there, a four, a five, a force point six for a broad that throws a baton in the air and misses. And then gets a job on this show. Well, he's down there. After wow. 26 years, you reach. <laughs> that's, anyway, that's why you're here. That's why I'm here. <laughs> you got it. All right, we get off. One for the. That's right. I thought Dangerfield was sharp, man. We get all the old people. It's good to see you, though, John. Nice it's been a while. I, in fact, I was at the studio gate tonight. It really was. Sit back. You got the job. Anyway, uh, <laughs> he's leaning forward like, is he going to leave Johnny now? Is he going to leave? If he leaves, you got problems, because I know. <laughs> Who's going to move all those beer cakes? <laughs> anyway, uh, he's got a beautiful house now in I Bel Air. Know, <laughs> all the robbers went, Bel Air. <laughs> anyway, what can they take from your place? I was there. <laughs> a shot of champagne. <laughs> anyway, uh... I gotta tell you, I went, to, I went to the gate and I came in. The gate, Harry. What do you mean, the gate? Here. The gate, no, no, the gate at San Quentin. Oh, I, I see. <laughs> what the hell's the matter with the you? When you're gate. on 26 years, I... you're starting to be like Reagan. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's, why he's, that's why he's leaving office. He really? thinks it's helicopters. I, I don't know, Sam! <laughs> Anyway, you're at the gate. I was at the gate, and I said, uh, I'm Don Rickles, and, and, and the Mexican people, please believe it, a lovable Mexican gentleman, but, you know, he wasn't a scientist. Yeah. And uh, he was by the gate, and I said, uh, I'm Don Rickles. What do you want? What do you want? I said, I'm doing the Tonight Show, and uh, this is my friend Harry. Harry Goins has been with me. Yes. And he was a black man. That made him nervous. Yes, I guess. And, uh, and we, we're in a Rolls Royce, an old Rolls Royce. It's an old one, yeah. you know. In fact, we had uh, Marion Davies' aunt in the back dead. <laughs> anyway, uh, 
and Eric von Stronheim was running on the running board going, we want to go to the show. Uh, that's an old, that's an old Rose. That's an old Rose. Th thanks for jumping in at help. I just, right. anyway, uh, I'd like to keep my hand in here. 26 years, he always got to jump in so he was worried about his name on the sign that it don't fade. Sit back, sit back. I'll tell you this. So what did, what did, the, what did the old Mexican gentleman say? I get the feeling he's on an airplane and he found out the left engine's out. So, so the guy at the gate said to me, you're, dying, I, you're not on the card. I said, well, just phone the main gate. Hello, May, hello, main, main Midway, main Midway. Dame a Rickle, uh, Mr. Rickle, Rickle, come in, come in. And he stood there for 20 minutes and finally I had to get out of the car, put on a Mexican hat and rake his booth. Uh, Anyway, uh, and rake his boots. Rake his boots. I heard it. Hey, everything. I'm loving the racist jokes. You say isn't a gem. You've proven yeah, that yeah. many times. <laughs> That's racist. You try them on, folks. You don't, you don't take this stuff on hey, the road. Hey, this is a great audition. You do good. Here you get on Star Search. That's right. You... <laughs> I, uh, confession. I never watched Star, Star Search. I changed the channel as soon as that stat crap came on. I'm sorry. Me too. A 3-7, a 4-6 we'll be... for Rose Kowalski. We'll do this and we'll come right back. No, we won't. <laughs> so, make his boots, huh? Look on with her. I, uh, what a clock you make here. Apparently, when I introduced you, I said you open tomorrow, Friday in resorts. You don't. You open a week from tomorrow. No, no, unless I go by rocket. No, no, I, I opened Atlantic City a week on the, on the 20th. Right. Oh, I love the sarcasm. Okay, so you I don't have to worry about that anymore. I didn't want people to line up there for a whole week. Well, they, they do. They start yeah. to line up now. You know, <laughs> what's, it, if I, what's it cost to come in and see you now? Is it a pretty, pretty heavy tab? Uh, well, heavy by. I think it's fair. It's about $35 up front, and in the back, it's a, a buck and thank you. <laughs> uh, no, they have it. They range the theater yeah. from. Depending on where you sit. Where you, where you sit. And usually the people in the front are usually, the, you know, those kind of people. And you throw food to them and they all go, oh, oh, destroy me, call me an idiot. Oh. What's, the, what's the worst? Oh, he must have been a killer on stage. Place you ever worked. I mean, when you were Here. just starting. Uh, no. No, ah, uh, uh, boo. Here, here's your boo. <laughs> boo this. Anyway, here's yeah. your boo. Boo this. Now, <laughs> that's an Italian expression for how's the family. Now. The worst place you ever worked well, when you're coming up. I don't like up. to say the worst place because uh, everything is well, relative. When I it. started out, uh, you know, there were tough places. Yeah. And when you made two hundred dollars a week, as you talk about Nebraska, you made a hundred dollars a week. Yeah. That was great. I didn't think. I thought, wow, to pick on people making a hundred bucks a week, that's terrific. You go into a club day for twenty-five dollars. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did a guy called Sam Newgold. He's gone now yeah. many years, and he used to take me by the window in New York, and he used to go up to Connecticut to these places with about eight strip teasers, and you. And all these girls come out with the pasties in those days, and that was wild, you know. know. And you always had the guy in the front going, <laughs> you know, today they have no tops, and they lean over and say, you want soup? And the guy goes, I'll take anything. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll, I'll take a bucket of water, whatever you got. Now, but in those days, that was, you know, that was yeah. unheard of. So when I worked up in, in those kind of places, I thought I was doing great. So I, I wouldn't say it's the worst place, but it, it was tough yeah. days, you know, because I said, you know, sir, you're a moron. And the guy would get up and go, could you, and the guy would get up and go, uh, repeat that again, please. <laughs> uh, who's a moron? It's a little humor, sir. <laughs> How about if I hurt your mother? <laughs> anyway, uh, and that my was mother was in the audience, and I used to take her in the car, and I never saw her again. That was, <laughs> anyway, that was before they knew what you were doing. Right. right. And, and, you know, so everything is relative. You ever, but been, I, you ever been punched? Once. Really? Yeah, no, well, a guy tried to in Montreal, but I always used to hang around and still hang around with people that are very kind. You yeah. know, kind of guys that go... I have little blow guns. Oh, I see. That's amazing. He's only been punched once. Man, I've been punched a million times. And, uh, no, I got my man, Harry Goins, that travels with yeah. me. He's not a kid anymore, but he moves fast. Yeah. When there's trouble, he tap dances. Mm -hmm. And, uh, <laughs> he's one of these black guys that say, trouble, he goes, lullaby of Birdland. <laughs> and then they go away. But, uh, I, I never have, everything, when you started out, when you started out with your yeah. magic act, yeah. you know, I'm sure the whole crowd get up and said, you stink. Well, no, but, no, uh, no, no, well, they didn't. They did? No, I did a good act. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> you got to go along with it, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what I'm saying. Sure. In those days, it was tough. You know, you did yeah, uh, all tough. those. And it's everything, to the young comedians that are coming up today, they got the improv places, sure. the comedy stores. In our day, we didn't have that. Didn't you exist. Know? We just had you, and you were, you were hot since you were born. Oh, you sure. know. Plow for contest in Nebraska. Yeah. Plumbing? Plow furrowing contest. You know what a plow furrowing contest no, is? No, no. I'm a Jew from New York. We don't investigate things like that. <laughs> <laughs> but 
But we bought the plows from you. Oh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> anyway, uh, anyway, it was a pl you go out and they plow, would plow a section of land and see how fast you do it. Well, isn't that similar to a big thing in the Midwest with the trucks you see on ESPN? They pull the trucks? No. No. Well, with the tractors, when they pull it, but they have that kind of contest. No. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> It's called Hurt the Jew and Ask for Trouble. I understand you're gonna appear on a... Uh, Take Heart your time. Take your time. You know, when you're on 26 years, sometimes you sit there and go, come on, John, try to remember who you are. Try to remember. <laughs> sit there. I'll tell you this. You're gonna be a new... You're gonna... This is a new thing. Since yeah. you're on 26 years in the competition, he's suddenly leaning over going, John, don't look good. He don't look good. Gee whiz. <laughs> he don't look good, huh? And, and we he got looks it. wonderful. And we got the young kid now. Right. <laughs> Gee, he's staring at him. Don't worry. And Jay Leno's in the back going, how's my jaw? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you'll be on forever. I know you. You don't want to walk away from that kind of money. Dave Tebbett called me and said, I give him a TV set every year. That's an inside joke, and by your response, you realize that. <laughs> uh, well, why do you do stuff like well, that? Because I got news. You get one shot and you go home. <laughs> That's it. But no, but uh, don't worry, Ed. You're going to be big. This, hey, eventually, if Johnny retires, are you going to retire? Certainly. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. I know what your wife spends. You are not retired. Oh, man. Good one. He's got a wife that just sits up in Bel Air. She was an airline hostess, had nothing. Now she goes, ah, ah, send in another box. <laughs> Come on, Ed, you're not going to retire. You told me you're waiting for him to take a cab so you can sit there and have star search. And Jay Leno's going to be on the highway going, a quarter. How about a quarter? <laughs> He's got it out with Jay. How long have you been married now, and how does your wife, Barbara, put up with you? Well, I got news. Yeah. We love each other. You know, you've been married. Uh, married. Yes, yes. Married. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> But nice. I like the way I set this up for you? I'll just, I'll just feed him in. You take no, the snappers. Kid, because I know all your wives, you know. And, uh, and now you're very, very nice. <laughs> Well, I did, I did. They were all friends of mine, and they're friends of yours. yours and yes. So you got in court and said, you're going to take what? <laughs> but, uh... Half. I mean, there's a limit. But now he's happily married, and, yes, it's, and it's working uh, out yes, real good. Well, yes. And I'm married at 23 years in March. God willing, it'll be 24. Yes. Well, why do they applaud you? Yeah. Now, why did you applaud that? Johnny said, why did you yeah. applaud? Because it's hard. 24 years married. How many years are you married, Ed? 15. Yeah, well. <laughs> <what I'm saying. laughs> and Victoria gets up in the morning and goes, he's up. <laughs> yeah, 15 years, man. When did he get married when he was 75? Okay. All right, folks. Don't, you're, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. We have to she, take a. We wait, have to. We have to do this. Hey, hey we're coming right back. Show the yes, we are. Show Tiffany's the coming here. <laughs> that was pretty good. So how'd it go? Good. Pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty. pretty. I mean, he was funny, sharp witty animated and very fast i mean just really really fast with his comedy and uh, you could tell he's naturally funny naturally funny so i can't wait to check out more from don rickles okay like i love and i wasn't offended by any of the any of his jokes you know i mean racist jokes i think are funny you know except when you can tell they're being done you know to offend people and that it comes from a place of hatred but when it's done just in the sake of being funny, just in the sake of comedy, I don't have an issue with it. And I didn't feel anything. I thought the jokes were funny. That's me. But um, overall, yeah, I love comedians that push the edge, you know, and uh, this was very enjoyable. Uh, I appreciate you guys for rocking with me and watching this. If, uh, if you like this content, please be sure to let me know that by liking the video and uh, subscribe to the channel. All right. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace.